There is more to Italy than cities like Rome, Venice and Florence. There are also bucolic landscapes like this one. And little visited corners are washed with cypress trees and vineyards, and acres of verdant meadows that enjoy a constant soundtrack of birdsong. This is the Borgo Santo Pietro, a place that can sometimes feel like the home of a collector rather than a traditional hotel. Welcome to Borgo then. Thank, Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. So you created this whole project 19 years ago. Can you no, tell us? The idea, the concept was 19 years ago. We bought it as a, as a private property and then we started developing it and found out that we thought it had potential for something we could share with the world. Anas this has had a history of over a thousand years. It's gone from being one thing to becoming a farm to being everything else. And we felt this now had to have a different um, kind of life. So with all that in mind, we started researching and finding and staff. And one of the key things for us were, this sounds wrong, but it was not as important whatever they were five star silver service person. It was more important as priority one that they had the soul and the feeling in the right place. Let's go inside and tell me a bit more about your little house of flowers. So this is where the magic happens. Okay. Um, this is where we make all of the flowers um, that you see around Borgo. How many bouquets do you do every day? It's a uh, huge, no? Um, so it can vary. We have around um, about 120 compositions in the hotel, ranging from small vases that you see on the tables um, up to the very big compositions that you'll see in the common areas. Wow. And during your weekends, do you continue doing things with flowers? Do you just stop with the flowers and just don't want <laughs> I, to see them anymore? Personally, at home, I can barely keep a houseplant alive. <laughs> Um, I tend to just leave that, uh, leave that for work, yeah. I mean, we look after a huge amount of plants at Borgo here as well, but I tend to be a, a sort of definitely a work hours florist. Um, when friends and family have weddings, it's a different story. This is one of the magical things here at Borgo. Everything you see is probably grown or done in-house. The flowers, the plants, the beautifully crafted details of the decor by in-house artisans and the organic and zero-kilometer products used in the kitchen. This was Borgo Santo Pietro. A Borgo means a hamlet. And this was a community. In the olden days, there would have been most likely the blacksmith, there would have been obviously the wine fields, there would have been the farm, there would have been all the things to be self-sustainable. And the Borgo Santo Pietro takes the concept of self-sustainability to the next level. Where else can you go from the restaurant to the farm or culinary gardens where the ingredients are coming from? The cheese, the herbs, the vegetables, and even some of the meat. And the hotel opens these experiences to guests with cooking classes and workshops, be it cheese making, wine tasting, truffle hunts, or estate tours, to get closer to Borgo's free range chickens, honeybees, and alpacas, and more generally, its farm to plate philosophy. I think it's key today if you want to offer a, a retreat or an experience beyond being in a city location. Mm. And therefore, for us, it's natural to bring in nature. And if you start bringing in nature, what, what, what stops? I mean, it will be wine, which is an easy one, but it will be olive oil, it will be vegetables, it will be all the produce you can make out of the vegetables for the winter. It will be the animal side. 
And so it is really done for production, but in a level where the sheep we use for lamb, uh, for the meat, and for the cheese, and the, the pigs are for salumi and so forth. The chickens are only for the eggs. So the breakfast you had this morning is from our own rumming, uh, rummaging around in nature mm. and, and finding it, and the egg yolks are just more yellow than yellow. And, and does that not make a smile on your face when you have breakfast? Mm. The concept of our brand is to combine natural ingredients yeah. together with science. So together with uh, synthetic ingredients that could be uh, very powerful and uh, give efficiency to our uh, product. About the skincare line, we have lots of face masks because uh, <laughs> we love them. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of these is very popular, is the Black Magic. This product won the Tatler Beauty Awards last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is a detoxifying mask. It is black because it contains charcoal and uh, uh, clay. So it is a detoxifying treatment for your face, face uh, skin. And, uh, and then it develops small bubbles because, because it contains a specific ingredient that develops oxygen. So all the products are used as well in the spa? Yes. Okay, yes. great. So therefore when we bought this place, it became very interesting for my wife to, to try to develop a natural skincare product but different to so many products that was on the market when she started the, the research six, seven years ago. They had to be natural, but they had to be efficient. And that means technology has to meet nature. This is a different side of Italy, one that's more peaceful and pure and with landscapes that sometimes feel straight out of a painting. There are many things to discover at this 13th century villa, the estate, the history, the terraces that look over the lemon trees and green hills beyond. There are just 20 traditional rooms and suites here, each decked out in dentic furnishings and four poster beds. And check into one of them and it's a portal to a different world. One imagined and taken care of by Klaus Tortrup and his wife Janet.